Our team coverage takes us now to West Palm Beach, where former President Donald Trump supporters will be gathering tonight in hopes of a second term. CBS News Miami's Joan Murray joins us live with a look at how Trump and J.D. Vance are spending the final hours of their campaign. Joan? Well, we are at the entry to the Palm Beach Convention Center. It's taken us over two hours to get here. Take a look behind me. These are just some of the supporters who are waiting in line for the big watch party. This was by invitation only. So people here are generally Republican campaign workers or friends of campaign workers. Others are politicians from South Florida and other parts of the country. So there is a lot of excitement building about the election. The man of the hour, Donald Trump, who voted earlier today to his Palm near Palm. Beach precinct near his Mar-a-Lago home is not here at the moment. He is hosting another private gathering of supporters at his Mar-a-Lago mansion. He's not expected to travel here to the convention center until at least 10 or 11 o'clock tonight. Now, among those waiting to see him, Jimmy Garza from Texas. Uh, we met him at grabbing lunch at City Place close by. He is a supporter. Uh, his wife is a committee woman from Texas. He tells me he is very optimistic about the outcome tonight. I think the early voting numbers show, you know, that the Republicans have showed up early, uh, untraditionally, and that today they're going to show up as well. So I think it'll be a landslide victory from uh, day one. I thought that. Yeah. So a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of optimism. You can see this crowd is really anxious to get inside, but there is a huge security suite that they have to go through to get in, and we hope to be in there in the next hour. Reporting live in West Palm Beach, Joan Murray, CBS News, Miami.